All right. In this presentation, I want to take a look at accusative prepositions. Now, what I'm going to do is do a very brief review at the beginning of the presentation and look at definite articles. You'll recall that those are der, de, and das. And look at how the definite articles change from a when, it, when they move from a nominative to an accusative environment. Because um, we're going to see the exact same thing with the accusative prepositions today. They will, uh, certain prepositions will force nouns, definite articles, indefinite articles, all of those to, um, to assume, uh, will force them into an accusative environment and they will uh, be declined as accusative objects. Uh, from there, we're going to look at the uh, some examples before we end with a overview of the of the accusative prepositions themselves. Uh, accusative prepositions are simply uh, things that you have to memorize. It's a short list. Uh, think of a mnemonic device uh, that works best for you to get them into your mind. Um, we'll go over a few of those in class, of course. But um, find out something that works for you, and eventually, once you memorize it, it becomes second nature. Um, now, you'll recall that definite articles in the nominative are der, die, das, die. In the accusative, they're dein, die, das, die. Now, um, we've talked numerous times about the Oklahoma box, that uh, definite articles, uh, indefinite articles that are inside that box do not climb. They don't change as they move from a nominative to an accusative environment. The only thing that we really have to look out for are masculine uh, singular nouns, uh, essentially der, and der will change to dein. So for instance, uh, we have the sentence here. We have a subject, ich. Uh, what am I doing? I'm hitting something, ich schlage. And then we have the masculine singular noun in the nominative, der Stuhl. Now, der Stuhl receives the action of being hit by me. Therefore, it's going to go from der to den. Ich schlage den Stuhl. Now, the noun here is forced into the accusative by the, ob by the subject of the sentence, ich. The subject is doing something, he's hitting something, and the accusative object receives this action. Uh, there isn't, that isn't necessarily the case with accusative pronouns. Let's take a look at this sentence here. Ich gehe um den Stuhl. I'm going around the chair. We have a first person singular personal pronoun in the nominative. It's the subject of the sentence, ich. Now, this ich is doing something, he's acting, and that is essentially he's uh, ich gehe, I'm going, I'm walking, I'm ambulating. I'll, I'll explain that in a second why I use that word. Um, so it's what we call a intransitive verb. There's no action that is being transferred to another object in the sentence. You can't say, I go the chair. Uh, so I'm simply, it's intransitive, no action is being transferred. However, I do have this accusative preposition. Ich gehe um den Stuhl. So I'm going around. So in this case, it's not the verb that impacts the noun, but it's actually the preposition which forces it, as you'll see on this slide, into an accusative prepositional phrase. So everything between the preposition um or around to the first noun that it modifies, um den Stuhl, is going to be thrown into an accusative prepositional phrase. And since it's going to be an accusative prepositional phrase, of course, uh, the object that it will modify, der Stuhl, as you see in this slide, will have to change into an accusative object. So 
what prepositions do, accusative prepositions, it's generally, it's not the verb that affects the noun. Like I mentioned before, you can't say, I go the chair, ich gehe den Stuhl, but it's the preposition that affects the noun. And it'll force everything between the preposition, between the accusative preposition, and the noun that follows it into a into an accusative prepositional phrase. And as you see on your screen, der Stuhl will have to become den Stuhl. Ich gehe um den Stuhl. I am circumambulating the chair. I'm walking around the chair. And the same thing with this next example. Ich gehe um der Garten. Now, ich gehe um, again, I am circumambulating. Uh, circumambulating what? Der Garten, the garden. Uh, again, it's a masculine uh, masculine singular noun, and for this presentation I'm only using these because it shows very distinctly the change from der to den, uh, the accusative. Der Garten would have to go into, you guessed it, ich gehe um den Garten. I am circumambulating the garden, walking around the garden. Uh, and not in the sense that we would say in English, I'm strolling through the garden, I'm, I'm uh, uh, walking through it. Um, the garden is the focal point, the center around which I walk. Ich gehe um den Garten. Um, although you could probably also imply a sense of strolling through it. So, uh, the accusative prepositions are the ones you see on your screen. Durch, für, gegen, ohne, um. Durch means, of course, through. Für, for, uh, against, ohne, without, and then the ones that we've seen before, um, around the time or a place. Um, I'm coming around uh, 6 o'clock. Ich komme at. Well, actually, I'd say come at 6 o'clock. Ich komme gegen, um. Ich komme um sechs Uhr. I come at six o'clock. So anyway, these are the cues of the prepositions. Um, memorize them, and after a while, they become second nature. Accuse of the prepositions.